In the realm of photography, where innovation and precision converge, the Nikon Z8 stands as a testament to technological prowess and artistic aspiration. In essence, the new Nikon Z8 takes almost everything that was useful in the top Z9 and puts it in a much smaller, lighter and, most importantly, much cheaper body. Nikon targets the Z8 at a wide range of photographers, including wedding, wildlife, landscape and portrait photographers, as well as content creators or vloggers. In the Nikon Z8 review, we will describe the main advantages of the new product and the differences from the Z9. If inside the Nikon Z8 camera, in fact, repeats the Z9, then on the outside it is very similar to the D850 mirrorless camera, although it is about 15% smaller in the body. It's noticeably shorter than the Nikon Z6 slash Z7 line of cameras and boasts a lot more direct access controls. This will no doubt be appreciated by those who are transitioning from DSLRs such as the D780 for example. Like the Z9, there is no exposure mode dial, but there is a block of four buttons on the top left. They allow you to directly set the white balance, drive mode, bracketing and exposure mode. There is also a dedicated button for switching between AFS, AFC and manual focus modes. Previously, many of these controls required deepening into the menu system or took up a couple of customizable FN buttons. As with the Z9, the buttons can light up when shooting at dusk. Built on a magnesium alloy chassis, the Nikon Z8 is fully weatherproof to withstand extreme temperatures, humidity, and dust. As with the Sigma FP, there is no mechanical shutter, and therefore no need to worry about the shutter counter as it wears out. But the camera is not completely devoid of moving parts. The Nikon Z8 camera delivers uncompromising image quality. In most cases, you can get quite usable images at ISO 6400, especially after applying noise reduction software. The 45.7 megapixel sensor delivers ample image data and phenomenal detail so files can withstand noise reduction without losing too much fine detail. The Nikon Z8 has inherited 493 AF points, 405 of which are automatic AF area detection points. There's a long list of AF area modes, including 3D tracking autofocus. The system has a refresh rate of up to 120 frames per second and runs down to minus 9 EV in a dedicated starlight mode. The Nikon Z8's excellent built-in 5-axis image stabilization provides up to 6 stops of compensation when combined with select Z-series lenses that also have their own built-in vibration reduction VR. In-body stabilization is one of the key advantages of mirrorless cameras over DSLRs in general and therefore also one of the main reasons for choosing the Z8. The multi-level sensor inside the Nikon Z8 camera has built-in computing hardware, which provides incredible speed. It can capture 20 frames per second at full resolution in RAW format until the buffer fills up. Then he slows down. If you shoot in JPEG you can get 30 frames per second until the card is full. Turn down the resolution to 19 megapixels and you're at 60 frames per second. The video shooting capabilities in the Nikon Z8 camera are also really impressive. It can shoot up to 8K at 30 frames per second without an external recorder. More importantly, it has a number of advanced 4K shooting modes. It can record 4K UHD footage in H.265 4.2.2.10 bit at up to 100 frames per second without the need for an external recording device. These are amazing options. Battery life is one of the few key differences between the Z8 and Z9 cameras, aside from their size. The Z9 uses an EN EL18D battery with a maximum of 700 separated shots achievable on a full charge. The new Z8 uses the much smaller EN EL15C battery that is also used in the Z7 II, Z6 II, and Z5, delivering a maximum of 300 separated shots on a full charge. The price of the Nikon Z8 camera is $4,000 per body when ordering in foreign online stores. You can buy a Nikon Z8 with a 24 to 120 mm f/4 lens for $4,900. The FTZ2 adapter adds $150 to the purchase price. With the same specs as the Z9, this is indeed a very capable camera. The compactness makes it more attractive to photographers and vloggers, because many people were put off by the Z9 due to its size and weight. 
Nikon also offers an attractive price for the Z8. Thank you for watching our channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that we are enthusiastic about providing information about gadgets.